Welcome back, everyone. I'm gonna go ahead and just sneak on in here real quick. Don't mind me, y'all. I don't know what the fuck I'm firing at, but <clears throat> I'm gonna just ignore this event and, uh, well, just kind of go on inside here. In we go. If there were other people there, I'd, it'd be one thing, but I don't want to waste, like, another 15 minutes defending that place, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Anyhow. Moving along. I heard an elevator ding. We got a ghoul there. <clears throat> so, I had uh, left the server and came back. And when I came back, <clears throat> my house was no longer there. Because someone else had taken it. The bastards. So, they already had built in the spot when I joined the server. So, of course, I couldn't have my house be there. Or else they'd be causing some issues. So, uh... I left that server, we joined another one, and I forgot that when you uh, <clears throat> rejoin a server after your base has been removed, it uh, doesn't matter, you're not going to get your base back until you actually go there and put it down again. So I did not realize that, so I rejoined and left servers like probably eight times, I'd say, <clears throat> before I finally found out that, uh, oh hey. I need to actually go there and place on my base. I went back one time, and someone else had built there. So, uh, I was like, oh, I guess there is stuff there, but yeah, it's whatever. Anyway. Eh. Got some hollow tapes, perfect. All right, hollow tapes! Let's divide ones in them. Fucking radar dish. I don't know what that's at. Recon notes to self. I knew it. I remember coming here on a school field trip. Walls are as strong as I remember. Paladin's gonna love it. Power lines run underground and connect up to Thunder Mountain. And so much space to grow into. But boy, is the whole thing a fixer upper. And the smell. And there's the small problem of the ghouls. But. We've got power armor and mini guns for that. Do I want to live in a madhouse? Well, it's better than being crammed in like Sardine's Adventure. The Silver Out. Now the Gatling gun was the uh, tube one, right? Hospital incident report. Resident psychiatrist, yeah. Doctor Kessel. One of the Junior nurses has suffered a nervous breakdown. His assignments included patient 5A3, whose afflictions manifest in habitual self-harm. Patient 5A4, who, uh, well, not violent, does aggressively grab and paw at whoever is trying to administer care. And also, patient 5B7 breaks down into loud, unconsolable fits of crying with no apparent cause or trigger. Uh, that, and the constant attention and sanitary cleanup required throughout the day for all of his charges was too much for the young nurse. We found him standing outside the door to one of the patients who was One of the other nurses noticed he'd been standing in place for over an hour. When he finally responded to our attempts to get his attention, he seemed surprised at any time had passed. During our exit interview, he broke into tears. He wanted to know if something was wrong with him, if he would end up here as a patient. I explained that nervous exhaustion was a common ailment, especially for hospital workers. Maybe after some months of rest, he could reapply for his job. That didn't seem to console him. Yeah, working at an asylum sounds like a pretty bad fucking time, if you ask me. <laughs> that guy definitely died. Unless he just put his head, uh, pillow over his head and then died some other way and then no one took his pillow off his head. I don't know. It'd be rather a weird coincidence, would you not say? However. 
That boy was hiding under his bed. A lot of lead here. That's good. So with my uh, storage being up higher now, I think what we'll do is just start being a klepto again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, uh, well, I'm running low on a lot of supplies. Um, we ran out of cement, which I don't know how, but uh, that was weird. Uh, I'm running low on springs. I'm running low on steel. Pretty much everything that I need is, uh... Oh, that boy looks bad. He looks a lot more fleshy than normal ghouls, I feel. Maybe because of the light? I don't know. He's dead now. I think my adhesive's getting a little low. Also, oh my god! While not recording, I looked at the fucking cost it would take to repair a fucking leg of this power armor. Or maybe it was one of the arms, I don't know. It's gonna take fucking 42 screws. Or not screws, fucking springs, or one of the two. I don't know, I was like, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Just to repair it. Like, Jesus Christ, kill me now. If that's gonna be my life, just hunting for screws to fucking repair power armor pieces. Like, goddamn. You know, I was expecting a lot more, uh, Brotherhood corpses in here. A harpoon gun! How much damage does that do? Harpoon gun, harpoon gun. 195. 75, not 95. Kind of the question is, how quickly can I reload it? If it deals that much damage, it takes like an hour to reload. No real point in having it, right? Oh my gods. This is gigantic. I'm really glad that we took, uh separate episode for this. Holy fuck. Oh, now I'm over encumbered. Fucking perfect. Some stuff I'm not going to be grabbing, like, uh, glass, specifically. Man, it'd be such a grand thing if I could just, like, go around and talk to people. Like, I'd be a weirdo about it, you know? Read that yourself. They killed Bertha! Hmm. Wonder who or what Bertha is. What else do I have for alcohol? Anything? Nope, I got some bubble gum I can take to not have to eat or drink for a little bit. This boy was hoarding food. Still died though. Just died of thirst because all he has is food here. Oh no, he has purified water. He must have died of something else. Oh yeah, I picked up an oven mitt. Never mind, I can scrap that. That's disgusting. Like, I have been mushrooms and brain fungus grow in there. It's just, ugh. It's so fucked up. No, I'm sorry. That is fucked up. That, right there, is fucked up. Okay. What's in a bag of fertilizer that I need? Or I'll take it, whatever. Ugh. I mean, like, I know, like... Damn. But I... Let's kick that box. What else here? Oh, I can go back down that way. Okay, well, let's head back down, I guess. So I think there was stuff down here I couldn't explore from the rest of the first floor, right? Really, though? Excuse me? Okay, well, apparently the fucking 
Harpoon gun does not aim at all. Apparently, like, you, you can't hurt things, so... I guess we'll just ignore the harpoon gun. I was actually looking kind of forward to using the harpoon gun. Putting these ghouls into, like, fucking walls and just hanging them there. Ah, oh, beautiful. But, fortunately, no. Fortunately, I... Nothing is real. Is this a reference to something? Cigarette, a lighter, and chalk. This has to be a reference to something that I just don't know. If you know what this is a reference to, nothing is real, a goat skull, a skeleton in a chair, a chalk, a cigarette, and a lighter? Let me know. I'm curious to know what it is. Thank you. A lot of random outfits here. <sighs> this is... A violent incident. Hospital incident report. Resident psychiatrist, Dr. Kessel. We had a fight break out today. All the patients in the dining room area for the morning meal and all the attending staff were present. Uh, patient 32 has never had any problems with violence, but can be verbally abusive to whoever happens to be in the area. The staff intervened, but patient 3E2 broke free from restraint by biting into one of the nurse's hands. Another nurse and I chased her down the hallway while the rest of the staff tried to contain the patients in the dining room who were obviously agitated by what just happened. We were finally able to hold her and administer a sedative and the unfortunate nurse whose hand had been torn open received treatment. All the other patients have returned to their routines, but patient 3E2 and 7C1 will need to be monitored. This is the start of habitual violent behavior. The prognosis for either of them being released has <clears throat> slipped even further into statistical irrelevancy. Psychiatrist seems very... I don't know, the, like, at, not apathetic, like, depressed, maybe? How about this whole thing? Because there was that one and then the other log that we had before, he's like, uh, so this is what's going on now. Like, he's kind of just gotten used to it and realized that shit might not get better for these patients and stuff. Disheartened, maybe? That would be the word? That could potentially be what the lead I was thinking of would be. Pans! First of all, I think we should stop giving the patients uh, toys to play with and actually treat them as like adults. That might help them a little bit more? Question mark? Unless, of course, they are children. In which case, if they're children, that would be another thing. Who wants a piece? You want a piece? Oh, that's a win to go. Yep. What y'all gonna do now, huh, bitches? Ah, fuck me. There we go. I'm glad I could just jump back up there. That, uh, really great. Ow, fuck. I didn't even get hit, but still, ow, fuck. Oh, god damn it. He fucking jumped right at me and scared the shit out of me. Hold on while I reload. God, windows are fucking so ugly. I'm like, no, god damn it. Stop fucking jumping at me! Would you please do that for me? I 
they didn't jump around as much, it'd be quite easier to deal with, but... The fact that they're fucking low to the ground, they're like fucking insects. They're low to the ground, they jump around too much, they're all lanky. Ah. Disgusting, you keep your fucking 50 caliber ball. Jesus. Where's my corn soup? There it is. I don't know how to shit ton of it. I feel like there was more than just those. There, yeah. Okay. Maybe it was more than just them. Oh, hey guys. If he wants to fuck off, I'll just let him fuck off. I'm. I don't really care. I'm oh, gonna come up behind me and scare the shit out of me. I'm. Ooh, someone tore their arm off to get out of here. Hangles, my buddy. A lamp. Man, I'm gonna be so fucking overweight here. Oh god, he brought a friend back! There we go, another dead. He didn't want to die alone, I understand. That's fair. I was already in here, wasn't I? Eh, whatever. Across the hall. Nothing in that broken ass room. Already searched that one. Go ahead and give me that acetine. My slippers, my dude! Or dudette, I don't know, you're dead now. Can't tell. I'm not a doctor who understands bones, chiropractor. I don't know. I can't tell if you're a man or a woman just by your fucking pelvic bone. Which you can do. Hmm. 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 Oh. Putting that button. Maybe that didn't have power before, and if you get power from... Where the fuck these cables go? You can do something? I don't know. I'm assuming someone in here before me and opened that up or something. I think what I'm gonna end up having to do is just go to like some shops, see if I can find someone who sells like springs or screws or, you know, stuff that I need. Okay, well that's all here. That's just down that way I came. So I guess we're going to the next floor then. Okay, nothing here. This goes over to here. That means it's active, right? When it's between those two bars? I think, I don't know. Who knows? We got a lead pipe there, though. Hold on, I had to itch my head. My head was itchy. Oh, here we go. Let's grab some shit. Oh boy. Get rid of this fucking filthy harpoon gun. You know what? Go on the straight jacket. Change my mind. 
Wait, am I actually underweight now? Oh my god, I am! It's amazing how much shit weighs, you know? I did not even notice that guy there. Holy shit. We got a lab here. Nice. Or a drug or pharmacy or something. Bruh. Killing me here. Oh, hey. Nothing in the fridge. I'm a weird haphazard, like, walkway and stuff, man. A few monkey! Gold! I thought it was a prospector hat here. It's fucking great. Makes it all the more better. She's just wanted her gold. That's so fucked up. I hope they were making wine in that toilet and not just like using a ladle in a toilet. Even worse, using a ladle in a toilet that had been used. Uh, asylums, why? Clara's note. Oh my god, read that on your own! Not to play, not to read at the moment. Like, if I was playing for fun, I would take the time to read it, but the fact that I'd have to, like, stop, read that on your own. The fact is, if I actually wanted to read those right now, while recording, I would have to stop and read it, either aloud, which I don't want to do. Just reading aloud is a huge pain in the ass. <laughs> um, but if I read it silently, then you guys would just kind of be sitting there in silence for a while, having to read it yourselves, so... It would be kind of weird. I'll take that. Fuck it. Let's go. Oh, negative damage from ghouls. That's a stupid one. I hate reduced damage from things. Unless it's like a... Reduced damage from a fucking Scorch Beast would be great. Or like invulnerable to ranged attacks from a Scorch Beast would be just excellent. Ranged attacks from a Scorched Beast are just cheating. That's all they are. They home in on your ass, pretty much, and then you can't fucking do much against it. And So it looks like the, this floor was, like, primarily, I guess, like, patients who had sicknesses. Not to say that they weren't all sick, but, I mean, do that on your own. Um, but as I was saying, it's more like, uh, like they were physically sick, not just mentally sick. Because they have all the, uh... Ooh, a vault -Tec alarm clock? That's fucking cool. Since they have, like, all the pharmacy and stuff up here, it looks like. Also, is that a reference to something? Is that? I don't know. All those... Flamingos and that woman on the ground. I don't know. Ring a bell to anyone? Let me know. 
Or they just put weird stuff here because it's an asylum. I'd do that. Okay, I'm gonna go head down here real quick, like. This should be the second floor. Yeah. Okay, and yep. Okay. We're going to take very specific paths, but... When you have marsupial, specific paths become... I'll go wherever I feel like going. Right, and that goes that. Okay. Also, I'm pretty sure I could just jump up here from there, couldn't I? Ah, so close. So soon when I hit this button, it doesn't close the doors, okay. I'm assuming they would open them. Scribe grants, please? Mara. Believe there is someone, anyone, alive. I honestly don't care if you're Chinese, American, or whatever. You're a human being. Listen, I don't have much time, but the scorched are more of a threat than you can ever imagine. You have to find a way past the security I installed. If you're former military, all you need is your government-issued military ID card. If not, find a way. I know, some... Ghost probably isn't very persuasive, but look past your own skin and consider there's so much at stake. We did, and that's why I'm going out to die. Okay, okay. Ad Victorium, Scribe Grant signing out. Ad Victorium. Okay. I wonder if that guy was related to Elder McNamara, or if he is just uh. Here's the name. So he said either find a military ID or have a military ID or find a way through here, huh? Okay. Which if I had a military ID, I could get into the uh, new carriers anyway. Tanner's out of fuel with all the scorched beasts. Not sure how long the boys at Thunder Mountain can hold them off. The AAs go down, we're all dead. For anyone that reads this, let me know we try my best. We all did. Brothers of Steel held the line as long as we possibly could, but the Scorch Beasts kept coming. Running out of time, so please listen. If the Scorch Beasts are still a threat, we need to get to the top floor. Security doors are top of the line military security. Find a way past them. Do what we failed to do. Stop the Scorch Beasts. Power's flickering. Have to go to the end. I get it. Ad Victorium. If I flip the switch down... Would it cut the power to that? Hmm. I wonder. We'll search this area, and then, uh, if we find nothing else that can help us get in that area, I'll, uh, consider going back up there and flipping that switch again. Oh, I can get in there. You know, considering this was like a Brotherhood of Steel area, they certainly didn't clean much and have much stuff here for them. Like I can see some of their like barricades and stuff, but they didn't have much time to set up, did they? Did they all just kind of get fucked up by the Scorched Beasts as soon as they started to set up here? Is that what happened? Hmm. Might have been. Oh boy. Plastic spoon. Kitchen scale, wooden spoon. There we go. Okay. Also, real quick note. Memory jam. Learned it. Oh, I also got some more uh, sight codes. You could say. <laughs> um, in the process of going back and forth, trying to get to my uh, my base, which uh, 
I thought it moved or something like that or whatnot. <clears throat> like I said earlier in the video here. Um, I kept finding scorched officers because it kept spawning me near that uh, one tower. I love that. So I just uh, kept picking up the uh, things there. Ooh, Chinese officer sword. Well, and Victorium, my dead friend. Is that what is that in your? Oh, it's just a tank on your back for oxygen, probably. Okay, that's the kitchen. He did. This room. Water. That's all. Okay, moving on. That room I can't get into from here, but I can get from the next one over. Hmm. Okay. Oh, now I'm gonna wait. Damn. That's fair. Scissors, pre more money, whiskey. Bobby pin box. Oop, hold on. There we go. Now we search that room. Nothing else here. Okay. How do I get past you assholes? Ah. Hmm. Is this a scary door he meant, maybe? the other side, huh? Aha, chemistry bench. Keep a throwing knife there. I don't want to fucking pick it up. I'd be too tempted to use them again. You remember the beginning of the series, y'all, when we were like, fuck yeah, throwing knife! And we were like, destroying everybody with throwing knives? Ah, good times. Now all my opponents are fucking god tier, fucking scorch beast monsters or super muties that can take a fucking huge hit and be like, eh, whatever. It's a shame, really. It really is. Uh, go ahead and just scrap that one. I can just make a new one if I need to. Oh, more Psycho. God, I love Psycho. It's like, Psycho and Jet are like two of the coolest things, in my opinion, for like drugs, okay. But Jet's not in this game, unfortunately. Which is quite sad, really. Oh, is that an actual working terminal? Oh yeah, military bags, nom nom nom. I don't know if I can just come back here and like, keep getting those. Have I solved my ballistic, uh, weave? I forget what it's fucking even called. Ballistic stuff. Problem. Ballistic fiber. There was no real reason to jump over here, was there? Okay, back across we go. Your hat. God damn. Well, someone had a party in here. I guess theoretically I could jump. Actually, I can just fucking walk this. What am I doing? Theoretically, I can jump from there to there to there to there. And actually, I could probably just jump up there and jump up there quite easily if I wanted to. If I needed to. There's an IV bag down there, and also some rat poison, huh? That was odd. Oh, 
Oh, baby, we got a Ganon laser. Nope. Okay, that terminal's busted out, too. Great. Well, speaking of getting lasers, let's go ahead and uh, favorite that real quick so we can start using it. I think it's number... Yeah, it's number seven. Okay. I don't think I want to go up to this floor yet, do I? Yeah, there's more to explore around this way. Hold on. Definitely got me through there. I just gotta find a way down and then I can find that area, huh? Here, we're just gonna go floor by floor here. Floor by floor here. Oh my god, how if I fucking enunciate things properly? A lot of military bags here, which is um, I'm pretty thankful for at the moment. The more of those I can get, the more I'll have in reserve for when I decide to upgrade my armor to the marine armor. Man, I hope that the uh, Children of Adam theme marine camo stuff is in here. Like I can fucking paint it or something, that'd be fucking excellent. Down. What about anything up here? Nothing? Okay. So let's search down before we go any further up. It's all caved in. A fucking mole rat, really. I'll also just use the rest of my 10mm on it. There. Why use good weapons against things we can just easily just take out with a pistol, right? No sense using my laser or my Gatling laser and whatnot on the little roaches that inhabit this place. My screen keeps going black and it keeps throwing me off. It's not the game, it's actually my physical screen because it is the one I'm not playing either. I either need to get a new cable for it or I need to get a new screen in general. Those two. But yeah, have you ever heard me like hesitate for a moment before I do something? It's more than likely because my screen just went black and I can't see what the hell I'm doing. So, <laughs> yeah. If I can take that too, why not? Okay, so there's nothing actually down in this section that matters. Okay. Oh, well, there might be, you know, since. It was behind security. Though. Wait, wait, wait. Was this, was this thought of the whole fucking time? God damn it, I'm so mad. The whole time that was there. I'm sorry, I was taking a drink. God damn. It's like the last fucking episode all over again with a fucking hidden tunnel. Don't think there's anything that way. Nah, it doesn't look like anything important down that way anyway. Yoink. If 
the automatic pistol um, makes it kind of hard to do one round bursts. Sometimes you'll like, it does that. It does, eh. Like it partially moves and it doesn't shoot out the bullet. Oh God. You okay, dude? Fuck me. That is weird. It's like, oh, so weird. Anyway, moving on. This is blue water. The hell? What kind of crazy shit's in there? Definitely dirty, though. That's what that is. I keep hearing shit move, and it's throwing me off. Can't tell if it's me or something not me. Dun dun dun. Okay. What the fuck's the Brotherhood doing here? They like. Weird. Ooh, nice poster. <gasps> Screws! I actually need springs. I don't know why I kept making a big deal out of finding, like, screws. When it's actually springs I need to find. Uh, I bet y'all were flipping your shit when you were like, God damn it. He needs screws. Or, springs, not screws. See, I'm doing it again. They're both, like, short S words, and they both start with an S, and... Let me alone, man. They gotta have an armory here too, though, right? Right. Nah. I thought that was a gun or something. Looked weird. Oh yeah, more ballistic. Look, if all we find here is ballistic fiber, I'll be okay with that. Oddly enough. That is a weird place for a Nuka Cola machine. Also, if. Why even have like another stall door here if uh, it's literally just a Nuka Cola machine? You know what I'm saying? Sort of weird. Also, why wouldn't Asylum just keep drugs in those containers? In the mirrors. I feel like that'd be bad for the uh, patients. They could easily just find it and be like, Oh, drugs! <laughs> All that fun stuff, you know. Looks like the Brotherhood kept dogs here. Cool, cool. They <laughs> even have a fire hydrant. Oh, that's fucking awesome. I don't know how to bear. Okay. Here. Some ammo there. I cracked thought I thought it was something else. Hello there. What happened to you? You're like all corrosive. 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 Did he take so much psycho and just like fucking freak the fuck out? It's either corrosion or it's like, I don't know, fire or oil or something weird. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Another one. Preservation of technology. I think this just kind of tells us what the Brotherhood does, huh? Congratulations, Appalachia. Paladin Taggarty told me of your victory at Huntersville. I know it was costly, but future generations will thank you, as I am thanking you now. 
makes me proud. But that's not why I'm calling. That? One of the Brotherhood's standing orders is being on the lookout for valuable technology. Anything that would help us in our efforts. But as I look in every direction, I see chaos. The lights are out, and men have become little better than barbarians. Civilization. Civilization is something I think of every day. I know Lizzie is probably sick of the word by now. To rebuild that, to reclaim that, our successors are gonna need the secrets of the past. And those secrets are in danger of slipping through our fingers forever. So far, our scribes have been tools to help protect our knights and maintain our bases. That needs to change. Brotherhood is gonna be more than an armed fighting force. We are going to be the guardians of civilization. So we have to grab every schematic, every holotape, every book, every goddamn note that holds the building blocks of the old world before it is too late. Our scribes will hold on to them, preserve them, perhaps even progress beyond them. And the knights will protect them like a hard shell around a precious seed. One day when the time is right, that seed will grow and a new civilization will be born. This. This is why we were born. Don't you see it? Helping your fellow soldiers the soldiers go. This. We will be the catalyst that changes the world. I'm sure you have questions. Allied integrity is fully briefed. I have every faith in you, Appalachia. Elder Maxon, out. I'm so confused now. Taggard, Maxon, McNumera. Those are your. It, that sounded kind of like the other elder as well, Mac Maxon from Thor, but it can't be. This is way before then. We're like at least two to three generations before Maxon. Right? I don't know. I hope they didn't fucking mess with lore like that. I'll look at that in a moment. First of all, let's grab some stuff. No. That was close. That. Get rid of the flamer nozzle there. Yeah. I'm definitely overweight now. Operation Motoga. Status aborted. This cost is just too high. Once we have the Scorched Beasts under control, we can again consider uh, additional forays into Watoga. Okay. That's all here. Well, let's look the Brotherhood Terminal and we can look at uh, the Elder's Tape. Register new personnel. Um, the security system is straight up military hardware. If you weren't a grunt before, there's no getting in. When Scribe Grant isn't knee deep in vital brother tasks, you'll make it so civilians can be. Stop belly aching. Okay, current personnel. Scribe Grant Naknumera. Knight Ted Rogers. Senior Knight Ted Wilson. Uh, Squire Enrique Belmonte, Squire Evelyn. Evelyn doesn't have a last name. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Only they had survived. 
but I wouldn't give to have a few of America's finest watching my back right now. As it is, I'll have to find out how they were planning to combat the Scorched on my own. Once I can figure out a way through these doors... Hmm... That's all she had to say, huh? Okay. In that case... We had one more thing to try. Now we can leave. Oh, also, um, while attempting to reclaim my former place, I, uh, ran into some monsters and leveled up to 55. We are 55 now. The perk that I decided to take was the one that, uh, um, hold on, I'm fucking at a loss for words here, just a moment. The one I chose to take is, reduces the weight of my... Heavy guns, namely the, um, excuse me, this boy, and this boy. So, yeah. Okay, well, it looks like everything, what, what is this? Investigate with Toga, right? Right, Toga. I keep hearing about with Toga. With Toga, with Toga, with Toga. Interesting. Well, for now, we're done here. So let's get the fuck out of here. Paladin Taggerty was known for only recruiting those who had military experience and found it difficult to coordinate with other more civilian factions of Appalachia. Oh. Like this, this Maxon and McNumera have to be like different, right? I don't think the guy's name is Roger. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. What if I just get on top of the roof like this? Than higher I can get on top of. Really? Excuse me while I reload. There we go. Is there anywhere lower, huh? Because as of right now, the highest I can jump is right here. Let's explore the perimeter. What are the scorched firing at? The siege things up there? Is that what they're doing? That wouldn't work. Eight. They gotta be shooting at that turret there. Pretty might as well use up some fusion cells while we're here, huh? We can get up there. If I can just get on the roof, it might. Ooh, that looks promising. Eh, never mind. Actually, it might be. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. 
Hold on. Hold on. Also, was that a airdrop up there? Might be. Okay. Oh. Oh, what? Oh. I got blocked. Is that what that was, huh? Oop. Back that up. Try one more time here. Damn it. Keep hitting run before I hit and jump and throw my shit off. Oh, yeah. I can totally get up there, but it's not letting me. It must be like an invisible wall around it, so I can't do that. Yeah, I can totally make that. Put over here, then. Ah, nope. That's fair. That's fair. I guess they just don't want me to get up there, then. Which means... That, that area has to be, uh... Definitely somewhere you gotta go for the story. Okay. Well, I'll tell y'all what. We're reaching our normal stopping point, or an hour mark here. Let's see what's in the supply drop up this way. Then we can go ahead and, uh call it and then I'll work my way back to camp so that I can uh, drop off all my loot and then we can go ahead and uh, return somewhere else but yeah we've done everything that there is to do here what is that map marker there It's like pointing me towards the Big Ben Tunnel. Are they trying to point me there so I can go over here or something? Also, where is it? Where is this mining thing at? All the Overseer's Journey? Site Alpha? But I can't get into Site Alpha. Hold on a moment. I want... Data. Go out on the map. Oh, it's right there. That's why I couldn't see it. Was... Okay, that's fair. Anyway. Wait. Yeah. Whatever. I've lost that thing. There it is. What do we get? Plasma cores. Eh. I'll take a Gatling Plasma so I can scrap it, but other than that... I don't plan on using it since it's not good yet. And how cool would it be if that thing actually operated and worked? So you could see it. It'd be so fucking cool. So you see what it does is those bottom rungs there, it moves up because all that stuff kind of like, it's a huge rotating thingy thing. So essentially, it kind of rotates around all that so that the, uh, the little locomotive there gets brought up to the top there. Is what happens, yeah. So, actually, I'm kind of, I'm just curious how that would work. Because if you look at it, there's only one place, which is the bottom rung, for one of the uh, the trains, right, or the trams, I guess. And that middle axis there it looks like what turns it. And those things aren't rigid, right? So, it looks like they spin on the joint there. But why would they spin on the joint like that? That makes no sense. I guess to kind of counterbalance it? You wouldn't want gravity causing all that to go woof, you know, right? Even if it did do that, I mean, it would still... I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, we'll go ahead and end things for now. I'm gonna find some way to sort out my inventory so I can move unhindered for the most part and then uh go from there
I might be able to take a swig. I think I have some alcohol still. Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I'll figure some stuff out, and we'll catch y'all next time, alright? Bye now!